Hello, viewers. You are welcome to Senior Teleclass on Tech TV. Today, we are going to do something very simple in core mathematics. That is modular arithmetic. I am Noom Chas, popularly known as Say 5 I'm going to take you to modular arithmetic. At the end of the lesson, this is what I want you, you the viewer, to achieve. I'm expecting you to be able to calculate the numbers in a given modulo. Uh, On the other hand, if I give you any number, you should be able to convert to the given modulo. Secondly, I want you to be able to add and then multiply numbers in a given modulo. I can ask you, in this case, to multiply, let's say, 15 by 12 and convert your answer in mod C5. Let's first look at something small about the topic that we are going to learn. Modular arithmetic or clock arithmetic, you can also call it mod for short, was introduced by one French mathematician, Carl Frederick Gauss, Carl Gauss for short. How do we find mod of a given number? Mod of a given number is obtained by dividing the number by the modulo. In this case, we are not interested in the whole number. We are interested in only the remainder. For instance, if you are asked to find 16 in mod 5, it means you are supposed to divide 16 by 5 and then take the remainder. In this case, 16 divided by 5 will give us 3, remaining 1. So it means 15 in mod 5 is equal to 1, but not the whole number. It's only the remainder that we are interested in. Some students do confuse themselves with modular arithmetic and that of number basis. Number basis, we are interested in both the whole number and then the remainder. So for instance, in number basis, in base 5, 16 can be written as 3, 1. But in mod 5, 16 is written as 1. Only the remainder is what we need here. Now let's use the clock for instance. Clock start from... 12. Later on, I'll talk about the 12. Because before the 12, let's assume everything is supposed to be zero. We are now starting the time. We move to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we get back to where we started, which is 12. In this case, and that mod modular arithmetic, we can call it zero. Instead of 13, we call it zero. That means... 13 in mod 12 is equal to, sorry, instead of 13, we call it 1. After 12, we move back to 1 instead of 13. That means 13 in mod 12 is 1 because 12 goes into 13, 1, remainder 1. And here we are interested in only the remainder. Now let's look at these few numbers. 13 in mod 12, as I said, is 1. What about 14 in mod 12? 14 in mod 12. It means 12 goes into 14 how many times? 1, remainder 2. So in this case, we can say 14 in mod 12 is equal to 2. On the other hand, 15 in mod 12 is 3, and so on. Let's consider the following numbers. 5 is equal to 1 in mod 4, meaning 5 in mod 4 is 1. Why? Because 4 goes into 5, 1 remainder 1. 80 in mod 5 is 0. 80 in mod 5 is 0. Because 5 goes into 80. A certain number, which is exactly 18, remaining 0. So in this case, 80 in mod 5 is 0. Let's look at 32 in mod 3. 32 in mod 3. 3 goes into 32. That is 10. 3 times 10 is 30, remaining 2. So in this case, 32 in mod 3 is 2. 48 in mod 7 is 6. Because 7 times 6 will give you 42. 7 times 7 will give you 49, which is more than the 48 that we are, going, we are, we are interested in. 
So in this case, 7 goes into 48, 6, which is 42. Remainder, 6. So the 6 there is the remainder, not the number of times the 7 will go into 48, but rather the remainder, which is the 6. Let's look at 9 in mod 4. 4 goes into 9, 2, remaining 1. So in this case, 9 in mod 4 is 1. 125 in mod 6 equals 5. You can check that one on your own. 72 in mod 8 is also 0. Confirm that one. Now let's look at the set of elements for a particular mod. Let's take, for instance, mod 5. The set of elements in mod 5 start from 0 up to 4. For every set, the set of elements start from 0 up to the name of the mod minus 1. So in this case, 5 minus 1 will give you 4. So we start from 0 up to 4. Mod 6, start from 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 5. The last you get 5 means 6 minus 1, which is what? 5. Mod 3, the elements there are 0, 1, and 2. Because 3 minus 1 will give you 2. So the last digit there is 2. Mod 9, 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 8. If you are being asked to find or list the elements in mod 12, that one will start from 0 up to 11. Okay. Now let's look at the number of elements for a given mod. Just as I told you. Mod n has n elements. Starting from 0 up to n minus 1. Mod 5, on the other hand, will have 5 elements. That are from 0 to 4. Mod 6 has 6 elements. Mod 7 has 7 elements, and so on. Let's look at mod of negative numbers. How do we find mod of negative numbers? Mod of negative numbers is obtained by constantly adding the mod to the negative number until a zero or a positive number is obtained. How do we mean by this? Let's take, for instance, 8 in mod neg 8 in mod 5. So in this case, neg 8 plus 5 will give you neg 3. Neg 8 plus 5 will give you neg 3, which is still a negative. So you add the 5 to it again. Now neg 3 plus 5 will give you what? 2. In this case, it means neg 8 in mod 5 equals to 2. Because we have already said that we need to add the mod to the number until we get 0 or a positive number. The first 0 or the first positive number obtained is the answer. Let's look at negative 32 in mod 8. First neg 32 plus 8 will give us negative 24. It's still a negative number. So we add the 8 to 8 again. So 8 plus neg 24. And that also give us, that will give us negative 16, which is still a negative until we get a positive or a zero. And the first positive or zero that we obtain is our answer. So let's look at the i, neg 8 in mod 5. Negative 8 plus 5. And that will give you negative 3, which is still a negative number. So now the obtain negative 3 plus 5 will give us 2. And 2 is the first positive number that we have obtained. So in this case, neg 8 in mod 5 equals to 2. Let's go to ii, negative 32 in mod 8. So here, negative 32 plus 8 will give us negative 24. And that negative 24 plus 8 will give us negative 16. Negative 16 plus 8 will give us negative 8, which is still a negative. So negative 8 plus 8 will give us 0, which means neg 32 in mod 8 equals 0. Instead of doing all these calculations, sometimes you can make it simple. You look at multiples of 8, which is just bigger than neg 32, okay, which is just bigger than 32, that's positive 32, or equal to that. So in this case, you can, one can easily do it this way, neg 32 plus 32, and that will give us 0 which means neg 32 in mod 8 is 0. Why 32? Because 32 is a multiple of 8. So when you are dealing with big numbers, this is how we do. In order not to waste time by constantly adding the number, you can think of uh, multiples of the dividend, in this case multiples of 8, 
which is equal to the positive of the number that you are dealing with, or a little bit bigger than that one. If it is not even bigger than that, that but it's rather closer to it, it will also guide you so that the answer that you get, you still add the more to it. That will make it easier. Let's look at next six in mod three. Negative six plus three will give you negative three, which is still a negative. And now next three plus three will give you zero. In this case, next six is equal to zero in mod three. Let's look at neg 12. Neg 12 plus nine will give us negative 3. That negative 3 plus 9 will give us positive 6. It means neg 12 in mod 9 equals 6. Let's look at the fifth one, which is negative 92. This time, if we decide to add 10 to negative 92, we add 10, we add 10, we add 10 until we get the answer, or the first positive or zero. It will be a waste of time. So let's think of multiples of 10, the one which is just bigger than 92 or closer to 92. So multiples of 10, which is closer to 92, will be 90. So you can use 90. So negative 92 plus 90 will give us negative 2. And now negative 2 plus the mod 10 equals to positive 8, which means neg 92 equals to 8 in mod 10. I hope you understand it that way. This will be easier than to keep on adding the 8, 8, 8, 8. So now I have made it in this way that the 8 I have multiplied by 10. So adding to 8, 8, 8 means I have made it 10 times, and that will give me the 90. Somebody can also take it this way, that if you take the 90, it is not bigger than the 92. Then let me go in for 100. So negative 92 plus 100, and that will also give you straight away 8. That's why initially I said, if possible, the multiple of the mod or the dividend, which is just bigger than the number you are dealing with. Anyway, can we try our hands on this one also, what's in the house? Let's try this one. Let me give you just a few seconds and then try this one. Negative 84 in mod 5. Negative 84 mod 5. Try that one and let's see your answer. Okay, if you are done, then let's all have a look at it. Negative 84 and that of 5. Multiples of 5, we can think of 80. 80 is a multiple of 5. Or we can also think of 85. So I will do it this way. Minus 84 plus 85, and that will give me 1. And that's my answer. It means negative 84 in mod 5 will give you 1. You can also think of 50, or let's say 60, 70, 80, the one which is closer to it. And that way, you will still get a negative. Then you add a 5 to it again until you obtain a positive or a 0. OK. Now I have this one here. Express negative 320 as a number in mod 7. Negative 320 as a number in mod 7. So I want you to quickly try your hand on that one and let's see your answer. Negative 320 as a number in mod 7. I hope you are done. Okay, I can think of something like 280. 280. I don't know the one you are thinking of. Yours can be more than that or a little bit closer. If I look at 280, it's a multiple of 7. So let me use that one, 280. That's 70 times 4, because 7 goes into 70, 10 times. So times 4 will give us the 280. 
280, 320 minus 320 plus 280 will give us negative 40. So in this case, I'm still having a negative. Let, let me think of, let's say, 14, 21, 28, or let's say 35, the one you like, or it can even be more than that. Let's say 42. Let's use 35. So minus 40 plus 35 will give you negative 5, which is totally negative. Then now let me add a 7 to it again. So minus 5 plus 7 will give me 2. It means minus 320 in mod 7 will give you 2. Maybe you use different multiple, but at the end you get the same answer. So it doesn't matter the number you use, but it's advisable to use a number which is just bigger than that one if you can easily get that one using your calculator. Let's move to operations on modal arithmetics. In this case, the operations here, we are interested in only multiplication and then addition. Here, you'll be given some numbers to add or multiply, or it can also be a combination of the two. Then, you can do the operation or perform the operation. Let's say you add the numbers, but your final answer must be converted to the stated mod. Let's look at example. 4 plus 3 in mod, sorry, 4 plus 9 in mod 4. So I want you to add 4 and 9, but leave your answer in mod 4. How do you go about this one? 4 plus 9 will give you 13, but 13 in mod 4. 4 goes into 13, how many times? Remember what? 4 goes into 13, 3, 4 times 3 is 12, remaining 1. So in this case, 13 in mod 4 is 1. So 4 plus 9 in mod 4, the answer is what? 1. We look at the next one. 4 times 7 in mod 3. First, 4 times 7 is 28. And 28 in mod 3 is what? 1. So it means 4 times 7 in mod 3 is 1. You look at negative 28 plus 17. Leave your answer in mod 5. Negative 28 plus 17. But the answer should be in mod 5. First, minus 28 plus 17. And that will give you negative 11. But now the answer is a negative. So we are not going to leave it there. Once it's a negative, it means you have to convert it to the stated mode. In this case, mode 5. We need to get 0 or a positive number. So we go back to how to change negative number to a given mode. So minus 11 plus, you can use 5, you can use 10, you can use 15. They are all multiples of 5. In this case, I will go in for 15. And that will give me positive 4. Minus 11 plus 15 is 4. Which means minus 28 plus 17. The final answer is 4 in mod 5. Okay. Try this one. We have 20 plus 16 all into bracket plus 7 into 6 all in mod 8. That is 20 plus 16 plus 7 times 6. Leave your answer in mod 8. So let's do it together. First, 20 plus 16 will give you 36. And 7 times 6 will also give you 42. And now 36 plus 42 will give us 78. Then we have to convert the 78 to the stated mod. That is mod 8. So let's change 78 to mod 8. This time, thank God, it's a positive number. So we go back to how to change a given number to a stated mod. 78 in mod 8. 8 goes into 78 how many times? 8 times now will give us 72. And then 72 remaining, that's when you take the 72 from 78, you'll be left with what? 6. So in this case, our final answer will be 6 
mod 8. So 20 plus 16, all into bracket, plus 7 times 6 will give us 6 in mod 8. Now we move to table of values in arithmetic. So let's look at the table. Draw table of values for both addition and multiplication in modulo 5. And then the B part, use your table to evaluate 3 plus 2 all into brackets times 4. And then I, I find the true set of n plus 4 in brackets times n plus 1 in bracket equals to 3. So let's look at how to draw the table. Now let's look at the addition first. Addition for mod 5. In this case, the table construction we have two types. In some cases, the question will give you the specific values that you are supposed to use. Some, some cases to it to be general, like this one, mod 5 in general. So in this case, you have to use all the mod 5 elements. But if you are giving specific values, then don't use all the mod 5 elements. OK, let's look at this one. Mod 5 elements, as we already know, start from 0 up to 4. So if the first column will be the addition sign. We normally circle it just to differentiate between the normal addition and then this one. Yeah. Now, 0 plus 0 is 0. Then you write 0 plus 1, 1. 0 plus 2, 2. 0 plus 3, 3. 0 plus 4, 4. 1 plus 0, 1. 1 plus 1, 2. 1 plus 2, 3. 1 plus 3, 4. 1 plus 4, 5. But in this case, this 5, we are dealing with mod 5. So we are not going to write the 5 because earlier on we said that mod 5 has element 0 up to 4. So let's look at how to write 5 in mod 5. 5 goes into 5, 1, remainder 0. So in this case, 1 plus 4, instead of the 5, we are going to write 0 there. Because in mod 5, 5 is written as 0. 2 plus 0 is 2. 2 plus 1 3, 2 plus 2, 4, 2 plus 3, 5. In this case, we have to do the conversion. 5 in mod 5 is 0. That's 5 goes into 5, 1 remainder 0. 2 plus 4, 6. 6 in mod 5. It means 5 goes into 6, 1 remainder 1. So we write the remainder 1. 3 plus 0, 3. 3 plus 1, 4. 3 plus 2, 5. But in, the case, in this case, what are we going to write? You need to write your own answer before I write mine. 3 plus 3 is 5, but we are going to write 0 because 5 goes into 5, 1 remainder 0. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 in mod 5, 1. 3 plus 4, 7. 7 in mod 5. What are we supposed to write there? 7 in mod 5, 2. I hope you understand it that way. Let's check. 7 in mod 5. 5 goes into 7. 1. Remainder 2. Okay. 4 plus 0, 4. 4 plus 1, 5. In this case, 0. 4 plus 2, 6, in this case, 1. 4 plus 3, 7, in this case, 2. 4 plus 4, 8. 8 in mod 5, 3. So that is the one for addition. Let's move to multiplication.
Okay. Zero times zero, zero. Zero times one, zero. Zero times two, zero. Zero times any number is zero. On the other hand, one times zero is zero. Any number times zero will give you zero. Now, one times one, one. One times two, two. One times three, three. One times four, four. Two times one, two. Two times two, four. But two times three, six. Six in mod five, one. Two times four, eight. Eight in mod five, three. Three times one, three. Three times two, six. Remember, one. Three times three, nine in mod five, four. Three times four, twelve. Twelve in mod five, two. Four times one, four. Four times two, eight. Eight in mod five, three. Four times three, twelve. Twelve in mod five, two. Four times four, sixteen in mod five, one. So these are the tables for addition and then multiplication, respectively. Okay. Let's look at the B part of the question. Use your table to evaluate 3 plus 2 or times 4. In this case, look at the table, 3 plus 2 on the table. 3 plus 2, that is 3 plus 2 on the table, is 0. Then you write the 0 somewhere. So in this case, 3 plus 2 or times 4. Okay. 3 plus 2, 3 plus 2, and that is 0. And then times 4. The multiplication, you look at the multiplication table. This time we have 0 times 4. Okay. 0 times 4, and that is also 0. So the final answer is 0. The addition one, you look at the addition table. The multiplication, you look at the multiplication table. 3 plus 2 on the addition chart has given a 0. So all this is 0. So we have 0 times 4. And 0 times 4 is also 0. That is 0 times 4, 0. And that is the A part. The II part, that one, the truth sets. I think in our next les lesson, I will explain more about the truth set. In this case, it's something different altogether. What we need to do is that we are going to test with all the elements in mod 5 and see the one that will give us a true statement. On the other hand, you insert each of the elements in mod 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, and then 4, in place of the variable term n, and see whether the left-hand side will give you the same as the right-hand side. If the left-hand side is able to give you the right-hand side, then it means those are the elements that we are looking for. So let's test with first zero. In place of n, let's write zero. So here we have zero plus four. Zero plus four. All times zero plus one. You want to check and see whether this one will give us three. Zero times four on the table. Zero times four. That is zero. 0 plus 1, the addition table, 0 plus 1, that is also 1. And now 0 times 1 on the multiplication table, 0 times 1 is 0. So this one has given a 0. And that 0 is not the same as 3. Let me write it up there for you to see well. 0 plus 4 times 0 plus plus 1. Is it the same as 3? Of course, this is 0 times 1. And 0 times 1 is 0, which is not the same as the right answer, which is the 3. In this case, 0 is not an answer. So we test with 1 in place of n. This time we are going to write 1. 1. And this n there is also 1.
on the table. I hope you have the table before you. 1 plus 4 is 0 on the table. You can refer. 1 plus 1 is also 2. And now 0 times 2 on the multiplication table. 0 times 2 is 0, which is not the same as 3. So it means 1 will not work. Let's go back to 2. In place of n, you write 2. 2 plus 4 on the table, 2 plus 4 is 1. And 2 plus 1 on the table is 3. And now 1 times 3 on the table is 3. In this case, the right-hand side is 3 and the left-hand side is 3. So you write, therefore, n is equal to. What number did we use in testing? 2. So n is equal to 2. So that is one of the answers. The moment you get an answer, it doesn't mean you are true. No, you have to check with the other answers. Continue to check with the remaining answers. So in this case, we have in mind 2. Let's look at 3 and see. In place of n, write 3. Three plus four on the table is two. Three plus one on the table is four. And now two times four on the table. Check two times four on the table. Two times four. That is also three. So here we have two times four, which is three. So three is equal to three, and for that matter, N is what? The three that we use in testing. Two has given us an answer. Three has given us an answer. Let's check with the last element, which is four. Four. Four plus four on the table is three. Four plus one on the table is zero. And now three times zero on the table is zero. But zero is not the same as the three that we have on our right hand side. So since zero is not equal to three, it means four is not an element. So we had only 2 and 3. So we just conclude. Therefore, the truth set. N such that N is equal to 2, comma, 3. And you complete your distance. Set, you, you draw your set breakdown notation. Okay, I think let me bring it here small. In examination, you can't do the working somewhere, you just write the two set. No. We have to see where you did the substitution for two and that of the three must be shown before you write your final two set. That one will serve as method and this one will serve as an answer. Anyway, because of time, I think this is where we have to bring our lesson to an end. God willing, we shall continue. We are not done with the mod, but we will continue another day. So let's bring the lesson to an end here. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. I mean, you need to do some exercises on your own. Consult other textbooks and then see how best you can come out with a solution. If you are not able to do it, consult these notes that we have had today and I think it will guide you to do it. Thank you very much. God willing, we shall meet again.